Hey friends, Rick Fuller here. So I'm on this series of how to get your offer accepted in a multiple offer environment. The reason I, I'm on this series is that the 2024 spring real estate market is really heating up. Uh, specifically in the San Francisco Bay Area, sales from last year at this time to today are up nearly 15% and home values are up over 20% in just one year. Average homeowner made over $200,000 in equity over the course of the last 12 months. So I'm teaching today on how you go about getting an offer accepted in a multiple offer situation, which is becoming more and more common. And I want to talk about the most important aspect or the most important technique, and it's managing your price. Uh, if you walk into a property and there's not multiple offers, because not every home has multiple offers, uh, this, may, this strategy may not be relevant to you. But this strategy can be extremely valuable in the event that you find a home has multiple offers on it. And if they have one or one or no offers on the property, then it's very difficult to know where that one offer is, but it's probably not quite at the list price. If there's two or more offers on the property, oftentimes one is at the list price, one is below. If there are three or more offers on the property, we begin what I call an incremental strategy. Uh, each offer tends to go up an incremental amount. Now, if you're making an offer on a property on the in the Midwest and it's two hundred fifty thousand dollars, maybe that incremental strategy is it goes up three thousand per offer, or maybe it's five thousand. If you're in the San Francisco Bay Area and you're riding on a million dollar property, that incremental strategy each offer might escalate by ten thousand dollars. I'm not necessarily telling you the incremental amount, but I am telling you that the more offers come in, the higher the price that you're going to need to ride on the offer on the property. Um, and if you're not willing to do that, so often you're not the one that's going to be accepted because price matters more than terms or more than even how you deliver the offer. Uh, the price is often the first thing that the homeowner looks to. Uh, price is often the thing that matters to them the most. Um, and so making sure that you price the property using our incremental strategy. Sometimes if you get to a place where there are so many offers on the property, and I, I'm thinking seven, eight, nine, ten offers, this incremental strategy becomes a little more fuzzy, a little vague. It's difficult to determine exactly where that price is going to land. And you can't just keep adding a thousand or two thousand or five thousand or ten thousand dollars per offer and then make yours according. So here's a couple of strategies. Uh, hypothetically, if you're writing an offer on a five hundred thousand dollar home and you think that that highest offer might land at five twenty five. One strategy is you make your offer at 526. If you're writing an offer on a $750,000 home, you might want to end up writing, uh, at, and it's on multiple offer situation, it might be an 801 offer. Uh, it might be an 826 offer. In other words, you're avoiding the major milestones. You know that people are going to write an offer to the major milestone. If the price is 475, I can assure you in a multiple offer situation, somebody's going to write at 500. Your ability to then write at 501 often gets the offer accepted. In worst case scenario, what you want to consider is, what am I willing to lose this property for? Uh, not what am I willing to get it for? What am I willing to lose it for? Because sometimes in a, in a situation where there are more than 15 offers on a property, you're going to need to ask yourself, what are you willing to lose it for? My suggestion is you decide what that number is and, and don't go above it. So often in an auction environment, people get excited, motivated, and they're 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 uh, you know in the moment, and they overbid for a property. Uh, decide what that is, and then in that case, submit what we call your highest and best offer. So the incremental strategy, the never land on the next milestone strategy, or even the what am I willing to lose it for strategy. All of these can be taken into consideration if you find that you're in a multiple offer situation and you want to compete and win.